go part two. We are getting these panels on our post. It's exciting. Once we get this, these bison can come in here. Even though we have this crappy fence, we still gotta tear out. That's okay though. We've got the first stretch almost done. Okay, as you can tell, we've about got this thing wrapped up. Um, you can kind of see the process of this, that we, we kind of a rhythm we finally got in once we got started. We hung the first one way down there and then kind of figured out how to do this and then just had a repetition at it. So Kevin does, he does most welding, he likes to weld. He's probably a better welder than me, he's had more experience. But I can weld. I promise, I do some welding, you just don't see me welding on the video, so just want you guys to know that. That's it. The fence is done. Fence? This ain't no fence. It's corral. Look at that. It was a crappy fence at one point, but we've got a full, long one side of this corral done. And um, I think it's time to let the bison in and see what they think. Um, they probably won't even notice, but it's time to let them in. It's good to use in this thing.
we got the bison in here. And I think they're happy eating this green grass that they haven't had in a while. But it is finally done. We finally have one side of this corral built and I think it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited about it and I'm very happy with the way it went and uh, how great it looks. Pretty easy to put these panels on with these clips that we have. Um, once we got them set, once we got the first one set and we kind of got in a rhythm, it, they were pretty easy to put on and we're pretty satisfied with them. Um, once you got the post set and the first panel on there, we, we got them on there pretty quick and so that was pretty nice uh, to do and we're excited about using these in the future. We obviously have more, we still have one more stretch to go. If you're interested in doing that, maybe it's not bison, maybe it's cattle or whatever, but um, they're pretty easy and I, I like using them and I think we're gonna be pretty satisfied with what we have here. Um, and you know, maybe we'll use some more in the future. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, bison seem to be happy. They found some green grass that they haven't got in a while. So um, thank you guys for um, following. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and follow us along and follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you guys. Somebody else I need to thank in my last video, I thanked a couple of neighbors. Somebody else I need to thank, a lot of you may know, is my brother-in-law, Daniel Arms. He's let us use this weather. Once again, it's one of those uh, good neighborly um, people that uh, that uh, let you borrow some of their stuff. And thank you, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, for letting us uh, use your awesome welder to uh, do all these projects. Thank you, brother-in-law.